Hey everyone, it's real estate coach Craig Proctor. How you doing today? We're going to be talking about how to select your target market. Actually, how to give yourself a huge uh, pay raise by really zeroing, zeroing in on who your very best prospects are. Let's agree that some prospects are better than other prospects, right? Some buyers are better than other buyers. Some sellers are better than other sellers. Um, so what I want to talk about today is how you have the power and really the obligation to do this research in your target market so that you are doing absolutely the very best you possibly can using the resources that you've got. I want to talk to you about the Craig Proctor Triple M formula. So you've got to have the right message. Obviously, you've got to be making the right offer to buyers and sellers. And you've got to deliver that offer using the right media, whether it be online or offline. But what most realtors give very little consideration to is the target market. And by the target market, I mean um, the types of buyers and sellers that you would most like to work with, the types of buyers and sellers that would, you, would, would make you the most amount of money. So that might be the price range of the buyers and sellers that you're targeting. That might be the geographical area or neighborhood that you're targeting. And I have this software program uh, that I use that interfaces with your MLS. And this is really cool because it allows you to make really, really good decisions with your marketing dollars. Let's face it, we have limited funds, right? We don't have like unlimited marketing dollars. So you've got these limited resources and you're trying to apply these limited resources to this huge target market, you know, called your city. Um, in fact, I was talking to one of our coaching members um, in Phoenix the other day about selecting their target market. And I asked him, I said, what's your target market? And he said, North Phoenix. And I said, well, how many people uh, are in North Phoenix? And he said, like a million people. I said, well, what's your marketing budget? He said, like $1,000. You see, most of us have this kind of problem. Our target market is huge, but our resources are small. So the name of the game is, how do we shrink our target market so it makes sense with the limited resources that we have? You know, for a lot of realtors, it's like they're spitting in the Pacific Ocean, right? Um, and thinking, well, that's gonna make a difference. What I want you to do instead is to deliberately shrink your target market so you're like the incredible hawk jumping down jumping up and down in a puddle rather than you know spitting in the ocean and not being noticed so this software program that i have it interfaces with your mls no matter where you are in the united states or canada it interfaces with your mls here's the type of things the software program tells you it tells you for example the highest turnover streets or the highest turnover zip codes so I didn't have this earlier in my career, so if I was sending out direct mail, for example, I was targeting neighborhoods or streets that had very few sales. Well, that doesn't make sense, right? Once I had the right information, I could decide, okay, here's better, uh, better streets or better zip codes to target. And so can you. You can start to make really good decisions. I think you've come to realize that some of the people that you attract are far better right? Some of them are like just easier to get along with. You make more money from them. So we can start to drill down into your MLS and help you understand what your best opportunities are. Let me give you a quick example. When I, when I first got into real estate, the first listing that I got was in a neighborhood called the London Road area. And, you know, it was the first listing I got. I was very happy. And for no other reason, this area, London Road, became my farm area or my target market, okay? Just because I happened to get a listing there. That doesn't necessarily mean it was the best neighborhood to target, but many of us make this mistake. Maybe, maybe you as well, right? Your target market is, I don't know, the neighborhood you live in, the neighborhood close to the office because it's convenient, or maybe like me, just the area where you got your first listing. That doesn't mean it's the best area. So I use this software program that I'm referring to, and what I find is there's another neighborhood that's about 10 minutes away. And what I discovered is that the days in the market are pretty much the same in this new area as my farm area over in London Road. And the list to sales ratio, the percentage of asking price that the home sell for is pretty much the same. 
and the same number of homes sell in both these neighborhoods. But what was not the same, what was totally different, was the price range. The homes in the new area were averaging a sale price of $1.6 million. Okay, the target market, the neighborhood that I was focused on, the homes were averaging a million dollars. So think about this. It was no more difficult for me to switch target markets. I could sell as many homes. The homes sold for 50, 60% more easily. The same number of homes sold. It didn't take any longer to sell these homes. The days on the market were the same. The list to sales ratio was the same. So all things equal, what target market was best for me? Obviously the target market where I could make 50, 60, 70% higher commission without really having to sell any more houses. So we teach, we coach realtors on how to do this research. So like a, a restaurant would do this type of research. A McDonald's or a franchise would do this type of research to find the best cities or the best neighborhoods to open a restaurant. Um, I hear all the time from people outside of real estate that, boy, you real estate agents, you really have it lucky because every transaction that happens in real estate is documented and it's documented on our MLS. So every house that sells, what it was listed for, what it's sold for, the days on the market, the list to sales ratio, all of this is documented. So if we wanna be smart about this, if you wanna take your advertising dollars and you wanna maximize or optimize the response, we teach you how to do a little bit of research. Now, remember, your target market is the first decision that you should make. You know, a lot of agents, they, they immediately start thinking about, well, what's my ad going to say? What am I going to say in my promotions? Uh, instead of who should I be talking to? You can see how that makes sense, right? Before I focus on what my message says, I should first focus on, well, who am I talking to or who should I be talking to? Which type of buyers and sellers are going to make me the most kind of money, right? Well, how am I going to do the best I possibly can with the limited resources that I have? So first, we determine your optimal target market. What type of buyers and sellers do you want to work with? What type of buyers and sellers will be most profitable for you? Okay, then we focus on, okay, what should the message be? What is our offer? And we need to learn to offer things the buyers and sellers really, really want that they can't get on their own. If the buyers and sellers can find the information online or it's something that's being offered by the other real estate agents, they're probably not gonna call you, right? The opposite is that is if we offer something they really, really want and the only way they can get this thing that they really, really want is from us, what happens is they call you and that's the new call to action. Okay, not cold calling, not buying thousands of leads from Zillow, trying to call people that are no longer picking up the phone or who blow you off. You want to get yourself repositioned. Okay, instead of being positioned as an annoying pest, you want to flip that around and be repositioned as the most uh, welcome guest. Okay, by offering them something they want, so they're chasing you, you're not chasing them. This was my secret to success. Many of you know my story. When I started in real estate, I had no sales experience. Um, I knew nothing about marketing. And within 36 months of having my real estate license, I go from dumb as a pile of rocks to being the number one REMAX agent, not in the country, but in the entire world. Nobody in the world that worked for REMAX made more money than I made within 36 months. How do we explain that? Marketing. Okay, it wasn't like I was the most experienced realtor or I had all this super knowledge. No, I understood or learned to understand. In the beginning, I had no idea what I was doing, but I realized I didn't like cold calling. Okay, I didn't like, um, uh, you know, calling and door knocking and chasing people. So for my own survival in real estate, I had to figure this out. And that's exactly what I did. And I studied marketing and I created offers that buyers and sellers were really, really interested in, so they were coming to me. Now, I became experienced because I had so many clients coming to me. I became pretty good at being a real estate agent because I had, uh, I was selling five or 600 homes a year. Now, eventually, I had a team of agents that helped me do this. But in the beginning, I think I sold 150 homes all by myself with no help. That was really hard. 
Um, it was a lot better when I had my team because I could make more money and have a life outside of real estate, which I assume is what you guys want to do. So today our topic is about what we all know, which is some buyers are better than other buyers and some sellers are better than other sellers. The other thing that's important is that if we get our marketing right, you're going to have an overflow of business. Imagine having attracting slightly more buyers and sellers than you could possibly work with. And you might say, well, gee, Proctor, why would I want to have more buyers or sellers than I could possibly work with? The answer is, is so you have the luxury of choice. Imagine if this was true. Imagine if tomorrow you wake up and you've got more sellers than you could work with. You've got more buyer prospects than you could work with. Here's what I bet you you would do. You would do what I did. I would work, choose to work with the most qualified, the most motivated, the most sincere, and the most ready to act buyers and sellers. This is how we get rich in real estate, right? We don't get rich in real estate working with prospects that don't respect us and lie to us and fight with us all the way through the transaction. And even when you do a great job for them, they don't appreciate it, don't send any referrals to you. No, the secret to being successful in real estate. There's nothing wrong with you. You're a good agent, but it'd be like having a great restaurant with great service and great food. But if you don't have any customers, like the restaurant's going to fail. So this is why most agents struggle and many get out of the business. It's not that they're technically not good. They are good at this. They really care about their clients. They work really hard. They do a good job. It's the marketing part of it. And this changed everything for me. That first year in real estate, I sold less than 10 homes a year. Okay, within 36 months, I was making millions of dollars a year and I never looked back. And it's because of one thing, the triple M formula. You gotta have the right message, you've gotta have the right marketplace, and you've gotta deliver that message to that marketplace using the right media. Now, when we talk about media, um, we could you know, use Facebook like we're using right now. We can use Instagram, we can use YouTube, we can use LinkedIn. Um, we can use direct mail. We have many media that we're going to test. And this is the secret about Craig Proctor Marketing. Everything that we do with Craig Proctor Marketing is trackable. So no more guesswork, no more like, well, this might work or that might mark. We are always going to know which messages work the best, which media works the best, and which target market works the very best for you. That's how we get quick results with a limited budget, right? Now, a lot of the things that we teach are free. So for example, we come up with a great offer and you email it or you text it out to your unconverted leads, to your sphere of influence, right? So that wouldn't cost you any money to email or text message people that are already in your database. Now you may say, oh, well, I've tried that before and it hasn't worked, right? Because it's not the right offer. Let me give you some examples of some really good offers here. Um, how about this? What if you were able to get your buyers priority access to homes that are not available on the internet? Really good deals, okay, that are not being offered by other real estate agents. You know, other agents are saying, oh, we can email you the daily homes on the MLS, which the buyers know they can get that information on the internet without an agent. And that's exactly what they do, right? The, most people, including us, Whenever we buy a product or service, we usually start our search online. So we can't be offering what the buyers can find by themselves. We can't be offering what all the other agents are offering. This would be a better offer. What if you could say to the buyer, not only can I email you daily updates of all the homes that are listed by all the different real estate agents, but in addition, at no cost, I can get you access to unlisted off-market homes distress sales, bank foreclosures, vacant homes, and company-owned properties. Now, you might not know how to do that. Let's set that aside for a minute. So you, you're not, you don't know how to do that yet. We teach you how to get access to these properties. But how many of you would agree? Let me know in the comments if you agree that would be a great offer. Okay, and by the way, if you haven't checked in already, make sure you do that. Check in. Let me know the city and marketplace uh, that you operate in okay, the um, city and state or city and province, because I have some information that I want to offer you. Okay, this is what we're talking about today. And if you type your email address in, I'll send you this free report, okay, and how to give yourself an instant pay raise by selecting your target market, 
Okay, so if you want this, I want you to type in your email address here in the comments and someone on my team will get this out to you. Now you might say, well, Craig, why are you doing this? Well, the best way for me to demonstrate that I can really, really help you is just to pay it forward and help you. This isn't costing me anything to do this, right? I'm making a pretty good presentation to you and it's costing me zero dollars. I'm also giving you helpful information. Now, this presentation that I'm giving you um, allows you to know a little bit about my personality and hopefully what you think is, you know, Craig is uh, knows what he's talking about and Craig is somebody that could really help me in my real estate career. Now, think about this. What I'm doing here with you, I want to teach you how to do this with the prospects in your marketplace. Because what we've been led to believe is I've got to knock on doors or I've got to call prospects back. I've got to buy leads and I've got to call them back and I've got to try to reach them on the phone. And we know they're not answering the phone, but it's getting harder and harder. And the reason you think you need to talk to them on the phone is to try to set up a meeting with them, a meeting with the prospects, so you can tell them what you do. So they'll hire you, right? Well, check out what I've done here today. I didn't call any of you, but I'm telling you what I do. So I want to show you this strategy. I want to teach you how to create videos where you make really great offers to buyers and sellers in your marketplace. So they don't have to meet with you to know who you are and what you do and what services you provide and what makes you different and better. We can do it on video. So that wouldn't cost you any money. You can just use your smartphone, right? Now, we take this video of Hey, you know, I'm Craig Proctor. I'm with Remax. Uh, these are the services I provide. Uh, this is what I do. This is what makes me different and better. We're going to email and we're going to text this video out to your unconverted leads. And when new leads come in, sure, you can try to reach them on the phone. But as you know, you, you re most of them, they don't answer the phone. So we're going to have automation set up. So when a new lead comes in, we're going to email them and text message them we're going to email them and text message them this video of who you are, what you do, what makes you different. And you're going to provide helpful information just like I'm doing today. Now, the prospects that watch your video, just like when you folks are watching my video here today, um, you're automatically pixeled by Facebook. So how many of you have noticed that when you start to watch Craig Proctor's stuff, you watch my material, you start to see me all over the place? Well, that's what we're going to teach you to do. So we're offering helpful information, educational information to buyers and sellers. They start watching your content, which costs you zero dollars because you just emailed and texted it to them. Didn't cost you anything. So I don't want to hear from anybody. Well, I can't do Craig Proctor strategies. I have no money. This doesn't cost any money, right? What it takes is you sitting in front of a camera and you and I work together and we say, okay, who's your target market? What do they want? What is it that you're going to say to the buyers and sellers so they go, wow, that's really, really great, right? If you said to buyers, hey, um, I can get you access to unlisted, off-market, distress sales, bank foreclosures, it's a free service, you're never obligated to do anything. Now, here's the call to action. If you'd like to get information uh, on these kinds of properties, please call me or text me. This is my number, my direct number, and you give your cell number. Now, we have lowered the barrier of entry. It's not scary for the prospect to call you because they kind of feel like they know you. Like some of you are getting to, it's kind of crazy, but you're kind of feeling like you know me a little bit, right? And so this is what we want to create. We want to create, number one, they need to know who you are. Obviously, nobody can do business with you if they don't know who you are. So number one, we want to create an awareness. But creating an awareness isn't just enough. How about this? How many of you have had People you know, family, friends, you know, family or friends, and they listed their house with another agent and your feelings were hurt, right? Or they bought a home with another real estate agent. Now, they knew who you were, but they still didn't do business with you. So just creating an awareness, and this is why all this image advertising doesn't work, you know? Pictures of agents like, I'm number one, I'm great, I really care about your business, spouses selling houses, all their designations. Okay, we could argue you know, when they get a billboard or a, um, a bus bench or whatever, they're running these, these uh, image or branded ads. 
okay, maybe people know who they are, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to call you, right? You know this because you've had family and friends that know you quite well, and they still did business with someone else. This is how good the marketing needs to be. They need to not only know who you are, but they need to want to do business with you and only you. They wouldn't consider an ordinary real estate agent, right? So it comes back to our offer. What is it that you're going to offer buyers and sellers that makes them go, wow, I really want that? How can we lower the barrier of entry so by the time you get to their house, they already feel like they know you? Just like I'm doing this with you, right? You kind of get to know my personality. And I'll tell you this, anyone that calls me, it's not because they don't like me. They don't call me and say, I don't like Craig or I don't see value. The only people that contact me are people like, uh, I kind of like your approach. Uh, you seem to know what you're talking about. I believe you can really help me. That's what we want to create for you. And by the way, if you want to book a call, a free call, breakthrough call with me or my team, if somebody could type into the comments below, craigproctorcall.com, no spaces. So my name, craigproctorcall.com, that's a clickable link and you can book a time. We'll take a half an hour to talk about your business, like where you are now, where you want to go. And I will give you free ideas that you can go use. Why would I do that? Well, if I help you and I prove I can help you, you're probably going to want to get more help, right? I understand why you're skeptical. There's all kinds of charlatans out there, uh, frauds and whatever, who've never actually been successful selling real estate. Everyone's trying to sell you stuff, right? How many of them sold 10,000 homes like me? Not many, right? So if I want to learn how to play golf, I want to learn from somebody that actually played golf, not somebody that teaches golf or read a book about golf, right? Okay, so what have we reviewed so far? You got to have a great offer. Most of you... Um, I don't want to offend anyone, but what you're offering is not something so unique, right? What you're offering is also what the other agents are offering. It's also, in a lot of cases, the buyers and sellers don't see a lot of value in it because they can just go online and do it themselves. We've talked about your offer to buyers. What is your offer to sellers? So if you want to get some listings, what would you say? I see a lot of agents advertising, um, I need listings. I really want your business or list your home with me. Uh, that doesn't work, right? We know that doesn't work if you've run those types of ads before. Um, or you might say, would you like a free CMA? They don't even know what that means. What's a CMA? Well, it's a comparative market analysis. Well, what's that mean? Well, do you want to know what your house is worth? Why don't we just say that, right? Now, the problem with offer, if that's your big offer, what is your home worth? Or what are the homes on your street selling for? Once again, the home seller prospects can get that information on their own, right? They can go to a whole bunch of public sites and they can find out information on what their house is worth and what their neighbor's houses are worth. Let me give you a better idea. Instead of saying, hey, I could tell you what your home is worth, what if instead your offer was, I can help you determine what you would net in your pocket after all the home selling expenses? Okay, now, is that a more important number to the homeowner? Yes, not what it's gonna sell for, but what they're actually gonna net in their pocket. Now, here's the crazy thing. Most of you, when you meet with a seller, if you actually met with a seller, you would do that anyway. So it's something you do after you meet with the seller. I'm suggesting it's the offer you use in the beginning to get them to meet, to convince them to meet with you. Let me give you another example. How many of you, when you get to the seller's house, you look around at their home and you would give them your advice, your free expert advice on inexpensive things that they could do to prepare their home to sell it for more money. It might be simple things like, you know, repainting. It might be cleaning the carpets or replacing the carpets, staging the furniture, a little bit of landscaping. But how many of you do that? And you're good at it. You know you're good at it. And your advice might help the seller sell their home for $10,000 more. But again, it's an example of something you do after you meet with them, right? At the meeting. Why don't we use that great knowledge that you have to get the meeting in the first place? So let me combine those two and show you what that looks like. So instead of making a lame offer like, would you like to know what your house is worth? Or would you like to know what the homes in the neighborhood are selling for? Instead, I want you to say this. 
Would you like to determine what you're going to net in your pocket after all expenses? Also, I can give you free advice on what to do and what not to do to prepare your home to sell it for at least $10,000 more. Okay, you combine those offers. Okay, what you're going to net in your pocket, they can't find that in the internet. That's not something the other agents are advertising. And you already are really good at giving them advice on staging and preparing their home for sale. So let's use this as a unique offer to sellers. Now, let me give you another tip for sellers. The easiest way to get listings is actually not going after the listing. The easiest way to attract sellers is to get the homeowner, the seller, to respond first as a buyer. Now, see if this makes sense. How many of you have sellers right now that would like to move, but they can't find another property? And because you can't find them another home, they refuse to list their home for sale. Even if you brought them an offer for 10% more than their house is worth, they're not going to list it for sale because they're afraid they would be homeless. So one of the target markets, one of our ideas is going to be, let's target um, move up buyers. So we're going to run ads that the only prospects are going to respond to our ads that that are buyers that have a home to sell. That's how we're going to get the listings. We're going to get the people that own a house to respond first as a buyer. So we'll get the buy-in, but we'll also get their listing. Guys, once you understand this formula and once you get access to this special software that interfaces with your MLS, it changes everything. Okay, this has nothing to do with what we think, right? What we think when we first get into real estate is, oh, if I'm a good real estate agent and I know all the rules and I work really hard and I really care about my clients, that should be enough, right? Not true, right? There's many real estate agents that are uh, suffering right now or, or actually leaving the business who are very good at the technical parts of real estate. They really care about their clients. They know all the rules. They do a good job. Their problem is, is they don't have anyone to sell to. You can be the best salesperson in the world, the most experienced, the most talented realtor, but if you don't have a steady stream of buyers and sellers, you're going to starve to death. This is what Craig Proctor helps you with. So order this free report, okay, right here. Drop your email address in and let me get this out to you. How to give yourself an instant pay raise by selecting your target market. Don't let your target market select you. That's what happened to me, right? I just happened to get my listing in this area called London Road. And like a dummy, that becomes my target market for no other reason than, oh, that's just where I happened to get my first listing. It could have been anywhere, right? So there is, how many of you are glad to know that there are rules that come to marketing, right? There's actual rules that you can apply. There's a formula to this. And if you understand the formula and you apply this formula, you can take your limited budget and you can do really, really well. You can outmarket and attract more clients than other real estate agents who have much larger budgets. Why? Because they don't know how to do this, right? So this enables an agent to take their limited budget, to select their best target market, attracting the buyers and sellers that will make you the most amount of money. We develop these killer messages, right? These killer offers, and they call you. If you're tired of cold calling, door knocking, buying Zillow leads, realtor leads, calling thousands of people to have no one pick up the phone, the Craig Proctor system is for you. I've been doing this, folks, for 30 years. No other coach or trainer or guru has created as many millionaire agents as Craig Proctor. I have clients that are making over a million dollars every month in commission income. Over a million dollars, $12 million a year. If you're skeptical, we'll give you the names. You can talk to them. Now, here's the commonality. All of them started out like you, okay? They started uh, bankrupt, okay? Struggling, um, new in the business, right? Burnt out, and we changed their career around by giving them proper training. How do I generate the leads? I need a lead generation system. But generating the leads isn't good enough. We need a conversion system. Well, how do you convert the leads? Right now you're generating leads. You can't reach them on the phone. That means you can't talk to them. You can't meet with them. You can't tell them how good you are and they don't hire you. So let's do a video like this. Let's you and I work together on what's my message going to be. 
And then for zero dollars, we're going to take these videos so people get to know you, who you are, and these amazing offers. And we're going to send it out for zero dollars, first of all, to your entire database. Then every lead that comes in, sure, you can try to call them, but they're going to get your automated emails. They're going to get your text messages. And we're going to have links to videos. And they're going to start to watch your stuff. And when they watch your stuff, they'll be pixeled. And they'll start to see you all over the place. And you'll be making great offers. And you'll be creating value. And by the time you get to their home, they already feel like they know you. Just like you're kind of getting to feel like you know me. So does this make sense to you? Have you found this incredibly helpful today? Let me know in the comments if you found this incredibly helpful. And if you have, can you please smash the like button? Or maybe the little heart. Maybe give me a little heart there. Uh, give me your feedback on this, okay? Uh, this cost, this training costs zero dollars. This is me giving back to you. I sold over 10,000 homes. I had no reason to be successful in business. I dropped out of college. I dropped out of university. The only reason I got into real estate is because my father was a real estate agent. And when I told my father I was going to get my real estate license, you know what he said to me? Don't do it. I said, why, Dad? Don't you want, you want to get me out of the house? He said, Craig, you don't really have a track record of sticking with things. And you know what? He was right. I dropped out of college. I dropped out of university. I never really was the type of person that really stuck with anything. I got into real estate and it was hard. I thought, you know what? Dad is right. I struggled that first year. Okay. I sold less than 10 houses. I did everything they told me to do. Just like you, you got into real estate and the obvious thing to do is we look around at what all the other agents are doing. Cold calls, door knocking, sitting in open houses, floor time, chasing expireds in FISBOs. And it was struggle. I struggled. Now, I almost made the decision to get out of real estate, but here was my problem. You might have the same problem as me. I had nowhere else to go. I had to figure out how to be successful in real estate. I wasn't the type of person that wanted to cold call or door knock or beg for business. So I studied marketing and I studied industries outside of real estate. And do you want to know what I realized when I studied industries outside of real estate? That these other super successful industries outside of real estate, no cold calling existed. Okay, there was no cold calling. Uh, they weren't begging for business. They weren't doing the things that we were doing, right? Uh, this is about attraction. Just get coached up. Allow me to share with you what I did. It's a free call. What do you got to lose? It's not a big sales pitch. Just like I haven't sold you anything here today. I've said, hey, this is how to do it today. Uh, this is how to be successful. And we're giving you this free report. If you drop your email address in, go to craigproctorcall.com. Again, let's drop that link in. Book yourself a breakthrough call. At least hear us out on how this would work. Now, we're going to do it over Zoom. And the reason we're going to do it over Zoom is because we want to show you things. We're going to ask you, okay, tell us about your business. And you're going to say, well, you know, I sell 25 homes a year, whatever you do. And we're going to say, well, what do you want to do? What's your goal? You might say, well, I sell 25 homes right now, but my goal is to sell 50. And we would say, okay, well, what would that do for your life if you sold 50? In other words, why is selling 50 homes a year important to you? And you're going to say, well, you know what? My spouse could retire from uh, their job and they could work with me and we could travel around the uh, the country and we could see our kids or whatever it is that's important to you. Look, folks, life is short. Let's reorganize your real estate business to help you reach your goals. So the next question we would say is, okay, you're, you're doing 25 sales and you say you want to do 50. That's your goal. So the obvious question is, why are you not already doing 50? And then you would proceed to tell us why you're not able to reach your goals, right? You have a reason. You're just like, well, here's my problem. Here's what we'll do. We'll show you on the call, we'll give you ideas on how to go around the obstacles, how to help you reach your goals. Now, if you find my advice really helpful on this call, you may want to get further training, right? Like if I help you apply this information and it actually works, we prove it to you up front that this works, um, then you might be interested in doing more with this. So this is the approach I want you to use with your clients, right? The clients are skeptical, right? There's a gazillion real estate agents that you compete with that they could choose from. So the buyers and sellers today, they're thinking, why you versus all of the other agents? And we must have 
an amazing answer to that most important question that buyer and seller prospects are asking or at least thinking, which is why should I choose to do business with you versus all other real estate agents? So I hope you found this helpful today, guys. Again, smash the like button if you haven't done that already. Uh, check in. Let me know where you're from, the city, the state, the city and province if you're in Canada. And let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know, do you agree with my approach? Do you disagree with this approach? Um, let me know your opinion. And don't forget to request this free information. You're going to like it. We're going to email it to you um, free of charge. Check it out. And uh, we'll see you again next time. So thanks very much for watching this. This is real estate coach Craig Proctor, and we'll see you again next time. Have a great day. Hi, this is Craig Proctor. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed that video. And listen, I've got a lot more information for you to help you grow your real estate business. You see, several times a week, I record new videos and I load them onto this YouTube channel. What I'd like you to do if you'd like to access them are two important things, and both are totally free. Number one is I'd like you to subscribe to this channel. You're going to see a little subscribe button for you to click on. And if you don't already have an account with YouTube, it's free for you to set it up. It's really easy. It's free, but you've got to subscribe to this channel. And the most important thing is to ring the little bell right next to the subscribe button. And that's going to let you know every time I load new money making videos to help you grow your real estate business. So make sure you subscribe right now. You ring the little bell and we'll see you on the next video.